Welcome back to Ape Escape 2 for the PlayStation 2. Alright my friends, so this is Skyscraper City. Let's do it. Hikaru, I'm sending a new gotcha gadget. Okay, I shall give it a try in the stage itself. Because no doubt there's going to be a lot of monkeys for us to catch, am I right? Yep, there's 17 monkeys out of a possible 21. That is quite a lot, actually. And as predicted, there are a ton of skyscrapers here. As well as a ton of monkeys. Alright, well... Let's figure out what this gadget does, first of all. So, this is clearly a magnet of some kind. Alright. And there's a magnet symbol on this wall here. Alright, let me just have a look at this. Oh yeah, you can, okay. Alright, I got it. I know how to use this gadget now. So, well, oh damn it, I thought it was going to be Neo from the Matrix. Not quite. So yeah, in the last episode, um, we got Pipochi back. Straight after defeating the Red Monkey. Who liked to suplex uh, Tyrannosaurus Rexes and make our life incredibly difficult. See if we can get this monkey as well. Oh no! Oh, there we go! That's how you do it. Only a whole whopping 14 more monkeys to capture. Now you're wearing something. Let's try and get rid of that first. There we go. Oh, that's it. Yeah, just, just lose everything off the side there. That's just, that's great. Thanks for that. Uh, so like with any level, um, <laughs> when you get a new gadget you have to use it pretty much immediately. That's why uh, the enemies and the stage pretty much has any kind of interaction with the magnet gadget that we just got. So no doubt I'm going to have to use that a lot more in this stage than what I've already done. Oh great, here we go, one of them running monkeys. Let me see if I can catch him off somehow. If not, I'll... Uh... Oh, there we go. No, don't get distracted by that thing, whatever that is. It's a pig riding a tank. Okay, that's, that's always... Good for the environment. All right, that's great. Well, they've got some plants here, so they've they've got some some environmentally friendly sense. What am I talking about? Right. What is this here? This is a interactable block of some kind, which I have to use my hands for. The game kind of makes things a little bit simplified. Um, I think that's because this game is more sort of set for a younger audience. Um, <laughs> Saying that, the game has tricked me out many, many a times. Right, let's get up here. There's a monkey there. There we go. Where are them flames coming from? What is that? Oh, jeez Louise, that is one pissed off little pig. Right, let's get the hell out of there. Let's get rid of you. Oh, grab that biscuit. I'm not leaving any biscuits behind. Just a shame I don't have a cup of tea to, be, uh, to dip them in. Uh, my British... My Britishness is coming out in me today. And believe it or not, guys, there isn't actually that much left in this game. There isn't actually that many more stages for us to do. So, we're going to be finishing this game very, very soon. I have no idea what I'm going to be going on to next. So, I'm going to probably need some help with that. That was an incredibly good shot. I dodged the bullet, like Neo from the Matrix, and we only have ten more monkeys to capture. So, we're making very good time. And very much good progress as well. I'm going to avoid the enemies that I don't have to kill. So far, touch wood, I'm pretty good on health. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna be very careful. Let's just get rid of you though, because you're kind of in my way. Alright. Uh, oh yep, yeah, there's a magnet block in there as well. I fooled as much. And that opens up this little doorway here for us. Alright. What else does this stage have in store? Another magnet block, okay. More pigs riding tanks. Let's get rid of those because they are a distraction. Right, what have we got? Wait a minute. Is that a life up there? That looks like a life up there. I'll try and get that because I think that's the way we've got to go. We clearly have to use this uh, magnetized staircase. I just love the way that he gets stuck to it as well. Like, he literally... He's stuck to it like a fly on a wall. That's very much like, um, 
The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, actually. If you guys haven't played that, uh, you should definitely play it. It's a very good Zelda game. Uh, but you get these iron boots and they kind of... Um, I don't know, they're magnetised to certain platforms in the stage. And it's very much like this, actually. I see how I have to get over there, but that's going to prove to be a little bit challenging. I have to have very good balancing skills here. Clearly, I have to be very careful with how I fall off the ledge like that. Alright, that's good. I'll just, have to be, <laughs> I'll just have to be extra careful when facing off against Spectre at the end of this game. Alright, so, what have we got here? What's going on now? Okay, right, this is the car gadget, I see. Right, okay. Spicing things up now, we're going back to an older gadget here, the RC car. <laughs> Which, as you can see, I haven't changed uh, the type of car. I did um, interact with the gotcha box, and that gave me uh, a sushi RC car. Because you can get different RC cars that you can choose in the menu. So that's always good. Oh, there we go, right. I thought Pipochi detected something. Pipochi is extremely helpful. It detects monkeys. Um, can even bring you back to life as well. So it gives you a second chance so that you don't eat into your uh, your lives, basically. And I'm kind of getting the hang of this uh, boat. Although he's not moving at all. Let's try and get out of this glitch of some kind that we're clearly in here. Alright. Wow, this thing sucks. Okay. What are you doing, man? What the hell are you doing? Those are some mean, 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 mean looking piranhas. Alright, there we go. Get out of this thing. The thing is a waste of time. <laughs> Can I get onto that thing before it goes? Let's try it. Oh, wow, only just. Only just. <laughs> Alright. What have we got over here? Another gadget? Okay, I'm having to switch out different gadgets here quite regularly. Oh, dude, come on, throw it. Throw the damn thing. Is he going to smell it from there? Hopefully so. Oh, are you serious? I've got to get a bang on shot. That's a bit better. There we go. Right, come on out. Here we go. The monkeys are literally... I don't know, they're just completely useless when it comes to water. They can't do much at all. They can't really attack you unless they've got some kind of underwater machine of some kind that can do damage. Uh, that's very rarely the case, actually. Let's get rid of you, because you're in my way. And we have to... Wait, what was that? That's another magnet block. We have to interact with that one first, obviously. Okay. I need to use the RC car again. I'm using the boring... RC car. <laughs> oh jeez Louise, what is this? That's a very, very slippery slope. Camera's a bit off here. There we go. Right. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Look at that. He's just chilling up there. wonder if I can scare him down. Come on, jump off. Jump off, come on. Ah, alright, okay. I knew he was going to make this more difficult than it needed to be. Let's see if I can shoot him down. Come on, jump. Jump, damn it. Alright, if you won't come down, I'll come to you. And that's the way it's going to be, is it? If I can even get up there, that is. There we go. Oh, no way! There's no way on earth he just did that. I've had some pretty good calls with the monkeys, but... Oh, there we go, right, he's finally come off. But I was going to say, that is <laughs> that is one of the more unfortunate attempts. There we go. 
It's funny when you look around certain areas, like I literally came in here, took a little glance around at what I've got to do, and then all of a sudden I look over there and there's a monkey, just randomly sitting there. I mean, I know there's 21, 21 monkeys in this stage, but it's just, I don't know, it's just so random at times. Now, there are literally monkeys hiding on chandeliers and all kinds of things you just wouldn't expect sometimes. Alright, that is a pretty ominous looking corridor. Which leads into a very bright room. How the hell did I not see that? That must have been a very, very long dark walk. Okay. You're in the way. You're in the way. And a monkey. I've missed. But I'm going to try not to get boxed in the face like I normally do with these things. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. I knew, I just knew that it was going to happen. There we go. He nearly got me a second time. I normally have, I don't know, difficulty trying to capture all of the boxing monkeys for some reason. They're normally quite a challenge. Right, another dark, ominous looking corridor. Leading into a, well, the outside. Okay, I'll take it. Oh wow, oh, oh my god, I got distracted and then I got burnt, that's just great. That's just great, thanks for that game. Right, I was about to say actually, this kind of takes me back to uh, the start of this game. Going quite a fair bit back now. Um, we had to do this pretty much at the start of this game. Avoid falling off. Because um, <laughs> Hikaru cannot stand straight on slippery uh, slopes, he just slides down and then he falls off the ledge and that's it. If there's nothing below you could end up dying I suppose. Can I stop you before you get into that UFO? Yes I can. That saves me a little bit of time because I know what these things can do. If only I could use it. Kind of looks like he wants to jump in it, like he can. He can jump in it. But he can't, you know, the glitch kind of pushes him out, so he can't really stay in there. Game's not programmed to allow you to be a boss at times, you just have to do what you can with what you got. There we go. This must be an incredibly strong stun club, because if you think about it, I'm taking out... I know they're miniature tanks, but I'm still doing something with this stun club. Whoa, okay. Don't do that game. <laughs> Freak the hell out of me for a second there. What now? What is that thing? Okay, that looks like that goes around. Perhaps the way I came or the way I could have gone earlier. I can jump into this. What do you know? The game does allow you to be a boss at times. Right, so how does this work? That's pretty much similar controls to the boat actually it's uh, you push left on the analog stick he goes right you push right on the analog on the other analog stick and you go left so if you push both you go forward oh geez look at the size of these ones that is ridiculous oh, a lot of uh, gold coins from them things very easy to kill actually hey there we go I got biscuit as well I wonder if I picked that up hopefully I did I did need some more health Oh jeez, what is this? What is it with these Indiana Jones references? Stop making me use them, damn it. So either that or Donkey Kong's on steroids, one of the two. He's upped his game now. He's got a little bit ticked off with Jumpman. And he's just gone on to throwing boulders all over the place. Alright, let's get rid of you for starters. Because something tells me you're going to get in my way eventually, otherwise. Okay. Plenty of uh, slingshot fuel that these guys are dropping, actually. That seems to be all they're pretty much dropping. In fact, I've actually kind of maxed out on what I can carry. The triple shot and the uh, explosive shot, so I'm, I'm pretty much maxed out on them now. Let's get rid of you guys. Because you are in my way, because I have to get this monkey. Who, of course, has jumped into this giant thing here? Oh, jeez, Louise. There we go. That actually, that actually was surprisingly easy. Looks like we have the stronger vehicle. Oh, damn it. I need to get back in it, though. 
Is that it? Am I safe now to... No, nope, I do have to jump out now. That was the final fight with that thing. Okay. <laughs> you see, again, there's a monkey up there. Just by looking around and seeing stuff. Alright, give me my slingshot. I'm going to call it a slingshot, even though it's called a catapult in this version. Of Ape Escape. Yeah. Two more monkeys to capture, and funny enough, I don't know how I spotted it because it did kind of blend in with the traffic lights there. Let's see if I can get this guy to jump out. There we go. Oh, it's another boxing monkey. What's his boxing gloves made of? He just deflected my stun club and nearly knocked me off the ledge as well. That could have been incredibly bad. I mean, do you realize I've defeated tanks with this stun club? And a monkey with boxing gloves just deflected my stun club. That kind of defeats the object of logic, doesn't it? Oh, I knew the last monkey. I knew one of these monkeys was going to give me trouble. It's been pretty good up until now. Ah, oh, okay. All right, come on. We're going to have to. <laughs> we're going to have to book it here. There we go, and we did it! Alright. <sighs> Me and Popochi are finally out of the skyscraper stage with another 17 monkeys in the bag. Okay. Not bad. And I guess that's probably going to conclude this episode. Where could that blasted lethargy laser be? I don't know, you seem to misplace everything. Including Popochi. Leave Popochi alone, he's staying with me now. Uh, let's have a quick go at the gotcha box. Got plenty of gold coins to use, so why the hell not? This is some concept artwork. Stage setting 6. Okay, pretty cool. What is that? A soundtrack, okay. Port Calm. It's not bad. This thing is literally full of goodies, like I'm probably going to collect everything now. A minigame prize? Dance Monkey Dance, there we go. Um, right, yeah, this is probably going to conclude this episode of Ape Escape 2, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough, and uh, we don't actually have that much left to do in this game. I think there's only one or two more stages, and that is it. This game will be completed. And then I kind of have to decide what game to play next. I do have a couple more PS2 classics in mind. Uh, Escape from Monkey Island just so happens to be one of them. That is uh, a very good title on the PlayStation 2. So hopefully you guys will uh, watch that one or give me some other suggestions if you've got any ideas yourself. And I hope to see you in the next and possibly the last episode of this game, guys. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.